this Thursday morning. We thank God for another opportunity to see a new day, to be alive, and above it all, to confess that Christ is Lord and Savior, and He's uh, still the shepherd in my life. I'm well, and I am happy again to bring this morning devotion. And as I say, as I said on Monday, is that we shall refer to this story of Zacchaeus the whole of this week. Uh, looking at Jesus bringing salvation to Zacchaeus. Jesus brought it to him because of the love that he had for Zacchaeus. We've referred to so many points that we can learn from this life of Zacchaeus. We started by talking about that God or uh, salvation, no person is beyond saving act of Jesus. We have also talked that we need to take action so that we may reach salvation where Jesus calls us, we need to listen to his voice amid these many challenges we've been through, and we should be ready to welcome him as Lord and Savior without fearing what other people will say, without listening to those people who are uh, confronting us because of our past. We also need to acknowledge him that he is Lord and be transformed. Uh, immediately we receive Jesus. So we look at another point that talks about we need to yield to what God puts in our heart. Remember, salvation is put in our heart. The Spirit of God indwells in our hearts. And therefore, it's calling us to yield. Yield to the teachings of God. Yield to the Spirit of God. He is our guide, our comforter, our director, and our teacher. We need to yield to the teachings. And therefore, we may not be called to the same level just like Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, his level was to give out all that he had and all that he has uh, he had cheated but we need now to submit to the will of God different levels of yielding because we are called differently we are gifted differently and therefore what is that gift that you have in you that you need to yield to remember we said that faith without action is dead and the first point towards salvation is faith we need to accept Jesus yes Hebrews 1 says that faith is um, hoping for things that you have never seen. And therefore, we have that hope within. But how do we do or how do we show it to the people who do not know Christ, that we have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior? It is yielding to the will of God. It is um, following where God leads. He lays the path and then we follow we take action in our hearts. We should not compare ourselves to Zacchaeus because we may not be having much money like he had by giving four times to the uh, uh, people he had cheated, giving to the poor. But whatever small we have, we've called to be givers. Don't compare yourself with the other person. The other may be having plenty or less. Whatever you have is what God is calling us to yield. We can also work with our giftings in different areas so that we may show the change that has come within. We can seek wise counsel from others who have known God before us so that they can guide us. Uh, we can choose to go to discipleship class so that we can know where am I strong, where am I needed to offer my services. So let us decide with our own mind, we seek wise counsel. We consider implications of our actions. And then we always consider whether uh, we are doing it out of just feelings or we are ready to follow God. Let us learn what is expected of us. Let us follow Jesus by obeying his will. In whatever he tells us, we should follow. Zacchaeus move was moved by Jesus accepting to come into his house and he saw the love that Jesus had for him despite his own sinful nature and therefore he promised and did the necessary, took the necessary step by proving that he was ready to fully submit the rest of his life to God, leaving his old behavior. When salvation comes, we usually say that the old has gone the new has come. So let us that, that, let that new be seen through action. But also we should we need to remember that action alone cannot save us. 
We are not saved by action. Faith and action must go hand in hand. They work together. We need to trust God first. We need to have hope in Christ. We need to accept Christ and Savior so that our action now will just be, um, be showing what is within what we have accepted. Now, Zacchaeus would not have been justified simply by giving away what he, he had earned, simply by giving away the money that he had cheated, simply by uh, just taking that money and returning it to the people, but he was justified by having faith in God. First, accepting Christ as Savior, that was at the inside. But now, outward, he had to show by action scripture teaches us that the motivations of our hearts are what is important not just the actions what is the motivation in the heart have you accepted jesus are you doing it for god or for people to see it are you doing it for god or because somebody else has done it and then you want to copy it should be an inward inward motivation that should show outward action we may follow the law to the letter, or we may check off every a box that would signify to others that we are faithful disciples of Christ. But if we do all of these things with a selfish desire or motives, then it will not do us any good at the long run. We need to work. To uh, Our works will never save us, but faith in God will bring salvation. And then this salvation should be followed up by the actions. Our actions or our good works will just be, our, be signs of what is inside, but not a gateway to salvation. So it's not just good works. It is accepting Christ first, then actions follow later. Now let us also be willing to accept other believers. A time may come we accept Christ and we do good works, but still... Our hearts are not accepting others. After Jesus meeting with Zacchaeus, he proclaimed that this was also a son of Abraham. That is verse 9, where the Bible records, and Jesus responded, Salvation has come to this home today, for this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and save those who are lost. Now, once we accept Jesus, we also need to know that those who are in sin, are not, or they are also sons of the kingdom of God, and therefore we need to accept them. Accept other believers, accept even non believers, so that you can bring them closer to Christ. Zacchaeus was brought to Jesus just because of the love of Jesus for sinners. His intention to come on earth was not for the righteous. In fact, there's somewhere he records that. Um, he is a physician, and a physician comes for the sick, not for the those who are whole. So he came for those sinners. And therefore, Zacchaeus' faith was uh, or saved him. Faith in Jesus saved him. Jesus knew the desires of Zacchaeus' heart and knew that he really needed this change. And he knows the same will happen to us. Let us not look at others as more sinners than we are. If we meet someone who uh, previously we knew his behaviors, previously we knew how he was uh, before coming to Jesus, but his thought and his mind is ready to accept Jesus. Let us show approval. Let us let, the, let us lead them to repentance. Let us lead them to confessing salvation. Let us lead them to the church. Let us lead them to the love of Jesus. And we should be quick to accept them. And this way, they will be able also to change their mind. So we are, we are called to be agents of uh, uh, the work, word of God to them that do not know Jesus. Once we accept him, we walk with him, we taste and see the sweetness of God. Let us also bring others closer to Christ. We are called today to be evangelists. We are called today to tell them the goodness of God so that they may also come and taste salvation. Let us also remember why Jesus came. He came to save humankind, to bring many to the kingdom of God. Verse 10 says, uh, for the Son of Man came to seek and save those who were lost. We should remember that in our 
in our own ministry, we should remember that for God have uh, or God is guiding us so that his goal may be fulfilled. He is guiding us so that we can accomplish the great commissioning as it is written in Matthew 28 and verse 19. Go ye to the world and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus promised to be with us to the end of the world. So he needs salvation to reach to the end of the world. And he can only do that through us. We are the legs that will go to tell the good news. We are the hands that will be stretched to help the needy and bring them to Christ. We are the eyes that will see the need in the society. We are the ears that will hear the cry of them that have not known Jesus and they are wailing in the pains of sin. And Jesus is sending us, go ye to the world, make disciples, baptizing them, telling them about the saving act of Jesus, telling them about the freedom that is there in salvation, telling them that there is a Jesus who transformed the old and makes them new. So we are the ones who shall reach out. Jesus did it by coming to earth, being with the disciples. They also proclaimed salvation. It has reached us today. And he said, until the end of the world. The end has not come. Therefore, let us not relent. Let us not rest. Let us not be comfortable that we received Christ and stay there. We have been called to be disciples. Therefore, go ye to the world. Speak this message of hope. Speak this message of salvation. Tell it to them. They, you may look at them and think that they are very comfortable out there, but their heart is burning to see Jesus, just like Zacchaeus. They just need to hear the voice. Where will that voice come from when we become comfortable, when we sit in our comfort zone and not proclaim the gospel to them that has not heard it, and not tell the sweetness of Christ to them who has not believed. How sweet it is to trust in Jesus and how sweet it is to take out, to walk out and let our legs, our hands, our eyes, our ears reach out to those who are wailing in sins. Zacchaeus looked very comfortable in his wealth, but within he was burning with the pain. He was burning, waiting to hear this message of Christ and Jesus did it for him. Who are we? not to tell the story of Jesus. Many are waiting there that we may tell them the story of Jesus so that they may come to his kingdom. Salvation is for all. So let us not sit with it, but we go and broadcast to them that needs Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for teaching us about salvation. Help us to be agents of salvation so that we may reach the many who are in need of you. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.